Hello and welcome, it's your boy Jack here to do another reaction video. This time I'll be reacting to Caligraph Jones Gaza. It's been a while since I've done a track. I reacted to a track from Caligraph Jones and I thought this would be a very good place to start. I really know I know little about this track and you know what? I'm just gonna go in blind and see what's all about and hopefully be wowed by by it. So I guess without further ado, let's get this reacting party started. And before that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button lets you know when next I drop a new vid. But with that said, let's get this reacting party started. This is Caligraph Jones and the track is Gaza. Hey, but I can't even believe it. Like. Listen, hey, yeah, I'm looking at you right now. And I can't explain the pain that I'm feeling Knowing that things will never be the same Hoping somebody wake me up and all this just a dream It's hard to believe that you no longer in the scene Been having messed up nights and fucked up days Now I'm supposed to chill now? Nigga, fuck that page Ain't no way I'm doing that when the nigga has you still out here We gon' get him too, my nigga, without a doubt, yeah Cause all this sorrow? Has just gon' pay for it I promise to avenge your death, bro, just wait for it he Okay, um, I do have a um, little bit knowledge on who Hesse is. I do believe he's actually uh, a police officer who has been going around, I guess, killing. Or uh, killing. I'm, I'm not quite sure if he's actually, he was actually going around killing uh, people. I'll, I should say he was killing people. He was basically judge, jury, and executioner. So I'm um, assuming this is actually in reference to him and what he actually did which for some reason i know it is against the law it is not for some reason it is against the law but for some reason he's still he was still around i don't know if he's still around right now still out there doing what he's doing so i guess this is Cal calligraph jones sort of bringing this to light obviously this is i believe the track was three years ago so i don't really know if things have changed I don't know that we come from the streets It took your life, it's happy now He gonna know there's nothing sweet When you fuck with the G's, that's straight up beef Can't wait to see him lifeless, dead, deceased I swear he ain't ready for whatever we got I got the crew ready, anybody be pop, pow All in all, God bless your soul Brother to brother, I promise not to let this go Until we meet again, I'ma rap the streets Goodbye, young soldier, rest in peace, holla where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Can somebody tell me? Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Can somebody tell me? Well, at me? least it's his oh calligraph jumps in the oh coffin my. as opposed to someone else, so that's Hold good. On, I understand that you're stressed out And now you thinking that revenge is the best route But look at me, ouchie, laying no lifeless You don't wanna be here Okay, finally I was a bit worried about what he, uh, Caligraph Jones were, um, During the first verse was doing He was actually out there promoting violence I thought that was a bit weird That he's actually doing that But in a track and in open And so I guess basically this song is about him Showing two different uh, sides to He's representing two different people with two different uh, perspectives on things. So you have the gentleman who's dead, comes his ghost comes out, obviously, and he's actually trying to calm the other guy who's actually not too happy with the person who was responsible for the death of his brother. So he's trying to calm him down. So yeah, so basically we're actually seeing the mindset of someone who is actually hell bent on re taking revenge on the person who killed his brother while the brother is trying to his ghost or whatever or his uh, the guy's perception of this gentleman is trying to tell him you know what you need to chill take a step back look where i am 
you don't want to be here kind of situation. That's what I'm assuming, even though it's just started. So let's go. And that you stressed out. And now you're thinking that revenge is the best route. But look at me, ouchie, laying no lifeless. You don't want to be here, bro. You won't like this. I don't want to see the same happen to you. It's sad knowing that you're out here packing it too. But let's assume that has it got you and takes your life. What's going to happen to your kids, your mom's your wife? Who's supposed to take care of them when you're not around? I know that it taught you how to always hold it down for the click, but the click can never do you no good. All you bring is pain, but robbing people in the hood. Please stop that. I ain't trying to be no snitch. Oh, I hate a my nigga. I ain't trying to be your bitch. I'm sorry you set a bad example for you to emulate. So now I wanna set it straight. So, bro, stop the. Okay, so base as I was saying, it's like his version. He's trying to tell his brother. I'm guessing his younger brother, y'all his friend that he should take a step back he obviously didn't do a good job um show him the right path and the actions that he would take i was like yeah you're part of the clique what happens if you get killed what happens to your family it's like all right the clip obviously they're not going to take care of them you're gone so they're no longer they're not there they're not the clique's responsibility your family and it's just going to be this vicious circle if you're not there to set the right path for your family the kids or whatever they might actually end up being sucked back into the life so you need to actually set an example get away from it don't join and try to stay in the straight and narrow and make sure it's it's basically it's not just about you it's about you and everyone who actually depends on you or people who are. so you have to think about that before you do something stupid at least that's what i got from what um the dead calligraph jones is trying to say all right Emulate. so now i want to set it straight so bro stop the violence stop the killing you got the power to do it that's only if you're willing are you willing that is your choice for you to make And I hope you do it fast before it's too late Yeah Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Can somebody tell me? Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Can somebody tell me? Oh my, oh my from here where do we go from here can somebody tell me somebody tell me somebody tell me where do we go from here where do we go from here can somebody tell me So that was Calligraph Jones and the track was Gaza. I do, I knew I should have said something about Gaza. I think Gaza was actually a group, the name of a, um, of a gang. So that, they were pretty, they were known to be violent. So that, it sort of ties into the whole story with Hesse and Gaza and I forgot the name of the town. Is it, um, what is it called again? Cayole? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I'll have to do a search on that. So, I miss, am I getting that wrong? Or is that different? Anyway, so basically what he's, he's shown two points of view. It's like a uh, guy's talking to his dad, brother, and and they're having a back and forth conversation. One is like, I'm going to take revenge for this heinous crime that was coming to, to you by uh, by someone in authority. And the other one's like, no, dude, you got to take, take a step back. Um, map out your options. See, make sure... You don't end up where I am. 
I, I guess it's like, well, not really check out map up your options. Basically don't do it because it's bad. This is where you're going to end up in. And if you end up here, who's going to take care of the family? Who's going to take care? Who? Yeah, it's you'll be gone. That's it. You're done if you end up here. So please make wise choices and stay on the straight and narrow, more or less. Or at least commit white crimes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I know I'm being really silly about that, but no, seriously, it's a very serious message. It's like you gotta make sure think up think about the consequence. Don't just go win nilly and do whatever you want at the height winning at the height of emotions. People tend to make mistakes. Take a step back. Think about what you're about to do. Hopefully, by the time I say give yourself 24 hours. By the time it's over, you can't probably become, you'll probably calm down and realize that your actions or this violent action you're about to take is not a good one. That's the hope. So please, 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 guys, do not make decisions in the height of emotions because 9 out of 10, it turns out horribly. All right. So chill, relax, and just think things true yeah and that goes with everything in life yeah you know you gotta do yes not it doesn't have to do with just you know it <clears throat> i'm trying to say this right that actually sounded a bit weird about it but yeah it's it, it goes for all things you do making decisions in the height of emotions can somehow most time end up being wrong it's there's nothing wrong with having a gut reaction about something uh you have a some sort of sixth sense the way you do it but i'm gonna stop there because i think i'm actually gonna i ended up mixing everything together and it's gonna sound as though i'm actually promoting violence which is not really which is definitely not what i want to do here so basically take time that take time out make sure i'm just gonna stop right here it's like, I love what he did here. It's like the three sides to the story and he's telling two sides of it. That's the um, dead individual and then the um, person who it directly impacts. And so basically you have this gentleman standing there with a bottle toasting his dead compadre, his brother, I'm not quite sure exactly, and telling him that we're part of the gang. I'm gonna, um, gonna make sure to take revenge and go after the guy who put you here without you know, proper. In this case, I'm assuming that's the case without proper, um, what's it called? Procedure, more or less. And then you have this other, this person, this dead person is like, look, dude, you got to take a step back. Look, where I was in the gang, I didn't give you a good solid. Um, I wasn't a very good influence on you. I should have done things a little bit different, st st stirred you the right way, you know, get you away from this lifestyle because look, this is most likely what's going to end up happen to you. This is most likely what's going to happen to you. You're going to end up here in the grave. And then who's going to take care of your family? Who's going to take care of those who depend on you? Who's going to, it's like, it will be over for you. All your potentials just down the drain you got to take a step back you gotta chill you gotta walk away and find an alternate means to actually honor me i was like do better make changes but do not do it illegally or in the wrong way or true violence uh, I, and that's just me that's what i got from this track so yeah it's pretty good i really like it very you know, brilliant track. All right. So there you go. So this is your boy, Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let's see you know when next I drop a new video. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. If you've got nothing to say, just say, hey, that's absolutely okay. If you disagree with what I've said during this reaction video or wish to expand on what I've said during this reaction video, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it. As we all know, constructive dialogue makes the world go around. Everyone participates. And on the offs, there's always the chance that your words might actually reach someone and make a change in their life so it's really important that everything is constructive all right so with that said this is your boy jack y'all take care and i will catch you on the flip side